in color. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. Up next is an exclusive first for the Scale Model community. Atlantis UFO from The Invaders TV series from 1967 and 68. This was recently released and it is a repop of the old Aurora model kit which was released back in 1967-68. Of course, this has been this. These molds have been around for a long time. Monogram, Suzuka, re-released this kit, and the last time this kit was released was back in 2003. I've seen several builds on YouTube for this kit. Most notably, Simon Merckx did it. Did a, a build of this, all lighted up, and Trekworks also did a wonderful build of this kit so look for their channels to see how this kit builds up and how it's lighted it it makes for a very nice display I wanted this kit and I yes I do have some repops that are in the monogram boxing but this one right here is exactly a repop from the Aurora and of course monogram was a repop from Aurora also Today, if you go on the internet, some of those original monogram releases go for high dollar, high amount of money, and every now and again you'll find one for under $50. Now this kit here, I picked it up at the local hobby shop while I was in, in El Paso, Hal's Hobby Barn. His prices are a little high, but he does have a great selection and a few collectible kits. This one ran me around $46. Let's get a closer look at the box art. It is 172nd scale. Scale level 2. And you can see the release was this year in 2015. Landing gear pods. Full interior. And fusion core. We'll look at the side. Now it's in the Atlantis popping instead of Aurora. This is the original box art that Aurora came out with back in 67, 68. As a matter of fact, I found all the series episodes posted up on YouTube. So they're out there. Give it a watch. Pretty cool stuff. And of course, there's nothing on the back side. Let's open this up and let's have a look. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. Inside, we do have a nice set of clear. parts here. I'll take those out of the bag here in a second. Here's another bag of all your silvery grayish silver colored parts. Looks just like the monogram one, which it is. It's just a repop of the old monogram Aurora kit. All in one part here. And then we have the kit instructions in color. Even gives you the Aurora logo here. The original box art from the Aurora release. Showing you it was $1.50 retail back in the day. So this is actually a reproduction original cell sheet provided to the hobby dealers back in the day. So this was a $1.50 kit now sells for close to $100. Turn it over we have everything in black and white here. Uh, the kit instructions give us 
you want to pause it, you can go ahead and read this. I'll move it down. Single fold out sheet. Step two, all the interior. Alright, I'll open up the plastic and we'll get a look. Be right back. Here's a partial showing of some of the parts here. Just like the old Aurora and Monogram kits, most of the parts have already been taken off or fallen off the sprue trees. Looks like my copy here, the one of the landing gear pegs is actually broken off here. Get a closer look. And uh, we see we have our figurines here and the top cover that can be removed. A little decal on there. One of the doors, the other door had fallen off the tree. One of the chairs. Going to require some cleanup and possibly some repairs. Sitting down, crewmen. Be right back with the other parts. Here's the tree with the interior components. They're all still attached in this case. Let's get a closer look. Flip it over. TSDS does make a really nice decal set for this to dress it up. I will attach uh, close-up photographs of the kit and some other options that you can apply to this kit, either from TSDS or a resin base that's out there. It's available for this. All your instrument panels, gauges, and lastly, main control panels. Very nice. Here are the fusion cores molded in clear styrene. The original release, these were actually molded in a clear red styrene. So in this case, they do give us the uh, clear ones because if you've seen the TV show, the color varied from blue to green. Very nice. Here's the bottom of the kit, which hasn't changed at all. 
and you'll see solid piece. A lot of people will replace this grate here with possibly a automotive reflector or they'll just vacuum form their own clear or white thin plastic so they can light it from behind. Also if you wanted to light up the fusion cores you would have to drill out these which is not a, a very complicated task. Turn it over. Nothing on this side. There is some numbering here. The top of the invader. UFO. Nice shiny silvery colored styrene here. Lettering on the back side here if you want to read that up close. Numbering once again. Going back to a couple of parts I wanted to highlight, and that would be the top section that's removable. In this case, if you wanted to light it, then of course you would have to cut out these pieces here. So you'd have that fusion core uh, effect, the fusion core where the lights strobe around in different speeds and even in different colors if you so choose using R RBG LEDs. And then of course one of the landing legs does have the ladder already on it, just like the original kit. So there's no difference between this and the Aurora first release kit from 1967. So there you have it. This was the Atlantis 172nd scale UFO from the Invaders television series model kit review. This was the repop from the original Aurora kit from 1967. It's nice to see this kit. It's nice to see it really the molds haven't degraded all that much for how old this kit is. And uh, I'm glad to have it available and for those of us who want to light them up as Trekworks and Simon Merckx did on their channels. It makes a beautiful kit. Stay tuned for more model kit reviews and thank you for tuning in to SMKR. I appreciate all my subscribers. I'm getting ready to, to surpass the 3,000 subscriber mark and without your help I wouldn't be able to do that. Thank you and have a wonderful day.